robot surgeon that is changing lives right here in Central Florida. Right now on Fox 35 News at 10. And question, would you feel comfortable having a robot perform surgery on you? We'll hear from a local teen who is glad she had the high-tech surgery. First class theme parks, gorgeous weather, and some of the best restaurants in the country. It all makes the city beautiful, fabulous. But Orlando has some pretty cool international businesses headquartered here as well. For example, one makes robots to help people stand tall. Fox's David Martin reports. Someday, Crystal Bermudez wants to be a veterinarian. Because I love animals. Well, she does have seven dogs. <laughs> The 14-year-old Lake Howell High sophomore has other aspirations, too. I want to be a model. Crystal's Instagram account, influenced by her favorite model. Alisa Violet. A megastar among the youngins. But glamour talk and future goals aside, Crystal's life has been one of sheer pain. Yes. At 11 years old, she was diagnosed with scoliosis. Because my shoulder's going to, like, one is more higher than the other one. And it hurt. Like, someone punch you in the back. The pain on a scale of 1 to 10? 20. <laughs> Crystal's twisted spine, the culprit. But this man had a solution. In scoliosis, it doesn't look like it's supposed to look. Christopher Prentice is the CEO of Orlando-based Mazor Robotics, Inc. Mazor, a Hebrew word meaning to heal. The company makes robots that assist spine and brain surgeons. Like a pilot does a pre-flight plan, we're allowing a surgeon to do a pre-surgery plan. That plan is executed with absolute precision on the patient by a robot. The surgeon stands right next to it. Just the doctor and the bot and Crystal. The teen had questions. I was like, mm, what is that? <laughs> And they tell me, oh, this is a robot, and blah, 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 and I was like, is that going to hurt? No, you're going to be asleep, and I was like, okay. <laughs> and it was okay. Eight hours of surgery at a hospital in celebration. Muscle on bone, major nerves down her spinal canal, branches of nerves, very compacted. So every millimeter matters. So if you're off by a millimeter, you might be in a nerve. You don't want to be in a nerve. You want to be in bone when you're doing spine surgery. Push, 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 push. Ooh. Crystal took four days to recover. <laughs> she used a walker for a month. But in the end, her spine straightened, all because of a confident surgeon and his little Mazor robot. The patient can walk straight, look forward, breathe deep, and do all the things that they should do like we do with, when your spine's in a normal position. The robot can do brain surgery with the same precision and consequently may even be able to fix addiction and disease in the future. For Crystal, nine months after her spine surgery, the pain on a scale of one to 10 is... Like seven. Pain pills help. After all, she does have a set of tinker toys up and down her spine. I have two rods and 14 screws. Permanent. Yes. And there are sacrifices with having rods and screws in your spine. I want to dance, but sometimes I can because I don't bend. Other no-nos include trampolines, bungee jumping, horseback riding, skydiving. I love skydiving. I want to go skydiving, but I can't. Well, those animals she wants to help in the future will be glad she's safe, unharmed, and standing tall. In Orlando, David Martin, Fox 35 News.